All right, guys, good morning and welcome to your unique devotion for the day. There it is. Uh, so uh, we are in chapter 4 of the book 2 Timothy. So 2 Timothy chapter 4. Yesterday I read the full chapter uh, just to start to get an idea of what's going on. And now today we go back and I'm breaking it down. So uh, I'm going to read, let me see, verses 1 through 5. It's entitled Preach the Word. <clears throat> then I have a one-word God question. So here we go. I charge you, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word. Be ready in season <clears throat> and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. So, first thought is, not all of us are called to be ministers. I am certainly not a minister. This is just um, my blogging, my effort of trying to communicate with God, uh, get my thoughts out, try to clarify, try to figure things out, um, using the YouTube community of a few people here to uh, maybe even give me insight into some things. I'm not saying that I have all the answers. I'm using this as a tool to try to help gather answers. And hopefully sometimes I say some things that help others to jog their mind towards answers. Um, but I always uh, appreciate and encourage the comments, um, especially if you feel that I need some clarification because I only have my perspective. <laughs> and it's so much easier to learn life by... Um, being open to other people's perspectives. So anyway, with that, it's a little aside. Um, endure? That's the question. It says here about enduring afflictions. And um, working do, to do the work of an evangelist and fulfill your ministry. So like I was saying, I'm not necessarily a minister, but not all of us are necessarily to be ministers of a church, to be the head of a church. But we all should be, to some degree, ready and willing to share our story of what God has done for us, of how we have seen Christ work in our lives and how our lives have changed. Just notice my water cup is in the way. Okay, so <laughs> um, uh, today I'm just going to look through the day and see are there areas where I'm struggling but I just need to endure through them um, because every day is not a perfect day. We live on planet Earth. And it could be something as it's raining and it brings you down. Uh, but if you endure it, the sun shines and you realize that the rain was needed to make flowers grow, to wash things off, to clean things up. So it's through that enduring that you see the beauty. Um, but there may be other struggles. <clears throat> maybe maybe you have an affliction, a uh, sickness, an illness, uh, maybe just a head cold or allergies right now. Um, you know, enduring through that and um, seeing where God is working in your life and something that it just seems like he's not doing anything but making you feel sick. There's always an upside, even though it might be difficult. But even if you don't see the upside, there's something to be said for enduring through it with minimal complaining. <laughs> um, maybe uh, maybe you're laid up in the hospital. Uh, maybe you've got something really bad going on. Um, maybe you're going through divorce. Maybe some uh, you just dealt with a death in the family or the death of a friend. Um, I know some co-workers that just dealt with that. Um, enduring through the struggle and the pain. So there's some big things in our life that we can maybe work on enduring through, but there's also some little things, just dealing with normal work struggles, 
of things not quite going the way you want. And that's how it's, they're actually very simple compared to the ones I just described, but they still have a certain level of enduring that needs to happen in order to work through that. And when you're on the other side of that enduring, sometimes you don't necessarily learn anything from it. It's just the fact of that you are working through it. But most of the time, I think you'll find that you will learn something on the other end of the enduring. And even then, sometimes you'll you'll find um, a positive side to what you just endured through, which I hope is always the case, but sometimes it just isn't. So on that note, I hope that you work on enduring life today. If you need to, unless life is PG for you, then that is completely awesome. I'm glad you, you are uh, on that page, and um, I hope that God gives you all the blessings you deserve, even more so all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow.